Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another plan with me, this time in my NMB6, which is my household planner. All right, let's get into this. I am using the week's version of the September 2021 mystery kit. Um, this works really great in a B6 as well. Um, but yeah, I am just gonna get started on this. So yeah. I know this kit is not available in the shop, so, you know, many apologies, I'm sorry, but it is just kind of one of those things where it just is not available in the shop because we decided not at this time not to bring mystery kits to, um, to the shop, so, so yeah, um, I know. I know you can be I'm perfectly fine with you being mad at me it kind of is what it is um, but yeah so let's take a look here I'm trying to see kind of how I've got so many options here available to me for doing all this stuff and because we do you know a week on three pages instead of on like four or on two, I have, I've got some options available to me here. All right, so let me get this situated out. So this doesn't technically have like any bottom washi to this because this is designed for the week's planner. Um, but I love using them in the B6 because all the, um, all the, uh, columns are the same width they're the 1.5 inches wide so I mean you can use whatever whatever you've got going on so and then here and then I'll just use this one back over here and then I've got my before week and my after week so all right um this what week are we planning for this is okay September 12th so I will be back from Salem by this point so I think we'll be I think we'll be pretty good to go um, but this kind of gives you an idea also of how the mystery kits work um, in the week's format so but at this time we have decided not to bring any of the weeks or any of the weeks any of the mystery kits to the shop I think we've done one that we could brought to the shop at one point, but I have, th God, I think I have three years worth of mystery kits that I could technically bring to the shop, especially like some of the older ones. I could totally revamp them. Um, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on that. Is that something you guys want to see um, eventually come to that? Some of these come to the shop, um, or are you like, hey, no, um, keep mystery kits exclusive to? subscribers um so you know and i could do it in a case by case basis uh it would probably change things up for vault sale because i do offer the um mystery kits in the mini kit format which is like a five page vertical format so you've got the nine full boxes like the big full boxes um you've got bottom washi checklist you've got some glitter headers and deco and and things like that um so i do offer them up during that format only during vault sale um, if i did decide to bring them to the shop that would mean that i would stop offering them during vault sale week um so i'm asking some opinions is that something you would want to start seeing because then after if that's something that like the vast majority of people would like to see them actually come to the shop, then I will stop after this vault sale offering them and start incorporating them into my design schedule. Because let's face it, they're already designed anyways, so it wouldn't be like that hard to bring them to, to the shop. So obviously nothing, no... Uh, freebies or anything like that would be associated with them but yeah so let's go ahead and get into this we've had an adventurous week 
Um, chores have been somewhat getting done, not, not completely. Um, and I say that because I do have um, twice this last week, the person in charge of taking the trash to the curb missed it both times that will because we have trash pickup twice a week um, on Tuesdays and on Fridays and both days this person got it out to the curb um, after the trash truck had come by so luckily we have two big trash cans so that kind of actually aided us in ensuring that okay we're not gonna be too bad but Coming up this upcoming week, we definitely have to ensure that the trash does get taken to the curb. Otherwise, we're going to be hurting. That's for sure. And who wants to call and be like, hey, we were not on top of the ball and dropped the ball. And um, could you please come pick up the trash? Like pretty, pretty please with cherry on top. So yeah, definitely have to be a little bit more on top of that. Um, but just, you know, lessons learned that's all they are that this person is quite not ready to have and remember this task on their own still gonna have to give gentle reminders and that's where this thing comes in this is my gentle reminder for myself so okay um I have I have four of these habit trackers and I'm trying to think I mean I know that these first couple of days being back I'm not going to do a whole lot in terms of house cleaning so I think I'm going to stack them so I can put actual scripts of things in here I think that's going to actually work out better um instead of like putting them down every single day so but I mean these fit perfectly in between the lines anyway so you could I mean if you wanted to have your two where you did Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then you did Friday Saturday Sunday on the next page and you had your like two to do columns you could easily put those that would um, spring across both of them which is which is definitely an idea I think I'm gonna have to do that in the in the future so okay so let me grab my scripts and see what are a couple that need to be done every single day but that are ones that I actually don't always put down um, I know that feed dogs is one of them so I think we'll go ahead and we'll do that one. Um, water plants is not one that we've been having to do. So I'm not going to really do that one. So we'll get this one on. Um, I'll put the feed chickens on here as well. Because I think that will work out to my advantage here. Like I said, I come back on the 11th and so these first couple of days are just going to be kind of catch up for me um, so yeah oh, I totally forgot that I had that sticker I mean I've taken them off twice sorry segue on things uh, da -da -da. let's do a 15 minute pickup Let's schedule that in, see if we can get that done every day. And then let's see what else. Once again. Once again, custom scripts for the win. Sorry, I did not mean to like, just completely go blank there for a minute. <laughs> that has actually kind of been my day today. Um, where I have just had this, this brain fog, um, just like, because there's just so, there's so much going on this week. Um, I'm not exactly looking 
forward to it. Um, and you know what? Let's put down laundry as well. Okay, so those are ones that I don't necessarily need to have down every single day um, because they're not, well, one's gonna be an everyday thing. Two are gonna be an everyday thing, actually. Um, but they're not ones that I necessarily have to have every single day. Sorry, my chair is squeaking. All right, let me grab chores, and these will be the extra chores, or like their daily chores, I should say that they need to do. Uh, technically, I could have put down the rabbits there. Um, I probably should have, but you know what they say, hindsight is always twenty twenty. All right, so let's go ahead and put chores all along here so we can get this done. So yeah. We have had, um, so besides the missing the trash twice, we've had an issue with our master bathroom. Oh, just, when I said earlier that we've just been having one problem after another with this house, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even joking. Okay, so let's go ahead, let me put down, um, I know that there will be four spots, so after the four, I can put down a glitter header. And that just separates my, um, that just separates my, my chores from the rest of other things that need to be done. So, okay. Um, so yeah, we have been having issues one after the other with this house. And some have been easier than others to take care of. Some are an ongoing thing that who knows if they'll ever be fixed. But I digress in that regard. Um, but this new one has thrown us for another loop. So, what was it last week sometime? I went to go flush the toilet and this gurgling sound came out of our shower drain. Now, the previous owners did a lot of remodeling of this house, which I'll give that to them, okay? They did that. But some of the things they decided to do were just like, why? So one of the things that they did is they created a new master bathroom off of this area. So they converted the garage over and it's it's yeah that's exactly what it is it's yeah um and instead of actually like creating a sh split shower slash tub type combo thing they created a shower area but then put a clawfoot tub on the inside of it okay cool but you're wasting so much space at the end of the day and it's just it's just caused a lot of problems because then they decided to create another bathroom that has a shower in it. Oh gosh, you guys, this one's so funny. So the way that they have it set up, they have the toilet sitting towards where the water heater is in the closet. And I can't sit on that toilet straight because I have really, really long legs. Um, we It's always a running joke in my family that you know, I'm very disproportionate that my, my legs are, my bottom half is so much longer and so much bigger than my top half. And it actually, it really is true. So when I go to, if I sit on the toilet straight and I go to stand up, I actually hit the wall in front of me. So I have to sit on the toilet on the side, which is, so I don't use that bathroom. Well, I'm having to use that bathroom, but they decided that they wanted to um, that they wanted to put a shower in there, but then they don't put like vents in there, you know, the things that you're supposed to have. And then they put a light that's not even a shower. It's not even qualified to even be a bathroom light. And they put it right next to the shower where the shower doors are supposed to go, where water can hit it. So we're just like, Ugh. So when this problem arose, we're just like, what, really? One, one more, one more thing we gotta fix. 
and so every time we flush the toilet it gurgles so we have either the vent that goes up through the ceiling so things things you learn so when you have a bathroom you actually have a vent that goes up through your roof to help provide the air think of it like as a, a as a water bottle if you took the water bottle and dumped it upside down you'd get all that gurgling because the air is trying to come up where the water is exiting but if you put a hole at the top of the water bottle and you let that you know open that hole the water is going to go through the bottom of the water bottle seamlessly there's not going to be any gurgling or anything right so we're like well maybe there's something on the vent at the roof that's stuck in there that's causing this problem so we have plunged the toilet we have plunged the toilet we have plunged the toilet we have snaked the toilet we have let it sit we've plunged we've snaked we've snaked we still have to get up on top of the roof to be able to see what really is going on um so yeah we are definitely going to have to get up on the roof and see if that if something has fallen into that vent and clogged it preventing the air because i mean we can get it to flush but we still have that gurgling so we know there's a clog somewhere in the system but goodness gracious is it the most annoying thing in the world i mean just if we could just ugh. so yeah i'm just one more thing on top of the ever expanding list list to do and i guess this is all part of just having an old home to begin with um so but a little break would be nice in fact if there was a break i wouldn't i wouldn't bulk at all i'd be so happy hunky dory being just ready ready to go ready to go so but we're not getting that right now so yeah kind of is what it is but yeah <laughs> Oh, and, and one day I will tell you what has happened with our pool. Today is not the day because I'm still kind of salty from it. Because <laughs> it, uh, if you've been around with the pool adventures, you'll 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 know. You will know. Okay, let's. I'm going to put these on. Let's see, Monday. Wednesday, we'll do every other day for these. Um, just because I love these doodle boxes. I don't use them quite enough. I just, because there's only three in the weekly kits. I'm just kind of like, mm, sometimes I'll use them. But man, I'm really itching to like really, really use them. I don't know. Some, we're right getting there on the end of the year. We're about to finish out all of like what we need to get us through some of the end of the year and then i start thinking reformats yeah that's that's exciting reformats for sure okay so i have eight of these boxes here um but i don't have enough room for eight boxes so we're just gonna fill in so one of the things that i do with this is that if i at least fill in the space um, it works out better for me, even if I have to kind of split up things that are actually happening, it actually works out better for me because then I'm not looking at all this empty, this empty white space. So I'm actually just going to spend my time, uh, updating or not updating, but literally just putting in boxes that may or may not have like a huge to do um, come on this week. Although this will be the week that we start back to school. So I'm sure there's going to be some very, very fun adventures there. Okay, so I do have some boxes or some room for boxes here. Um, let's use one of these guys i really like these little boxes right here they're perfect for just like a little side 
note of things. All right, so let's finish filling in all of this. And then we'll, it can be pretty good to go. So yeah, but this is the week that we start back to school. So I'm definitely going to need the kids to be on top of their chores. Um, and there will probably be extra added things because we will have like schoolroom items that will need to be picked up. Um, so there will be extra things added to this list um, to ensure that we we actually get the stuff done. So, all right. Um, don't want to use that. We'll use this one. This is a nice one. Okay, and then this is the honeydew list over here. So I do have a honeydew list. Um, script. Yes. Yes, I, I have a honeydew list script because why not? Why not? All right. So let's grab a header here. But yeah, our first week back to school is always an adventurous one because there's always just so much more. We're, you know, figuring things out, this, that, and the other. But we are back to, instead of having a full-on... Um, dedicated space. We are going to be in our dining room area because that's where all the big bookshelves are. So we're actually going to be in the dining room area and um, I think that's going to be interesting to say the least. Um, but I am hoping, because we are going to be moving some stuff around, I'm hoping that will actually serve my whole purpose of doing things. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Okay, so over here we will go ahead and put dinners. I know if you watch my Wednesday videos, you'll be like, but you put dinners in your other planner. Yes, that is the one that is specific for me. This one is very specific to the family. Um, this is really what they they eat because uh, sometimes I eat what they eat and sometimes I don't um, you know kind of is what it is there are nights and and I say this because there are nights where the kids will ask for um, sardines and rice like sardines, tomato sauce, and rice. Don't, don't, don't ask me. It's my husband loves it. Um, so yeah, just, just don't, don't ask me because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to give you that one. So, okay. So we have that. Let's put this here. And then I have, I have, what do I have? Um, I have a checklist here. I don't know what it's going to be used for just yet. Figure that one out. Kind of keep this all the same. Oh, this will be perfect. All right, that is done. Okay, we are good to go there. Like I said I have those so I don't forget. Because if I did not put those down, I would totally forget what I wanted these for. And and stuff so okay chores boxes honeydew list let's get some glitter headers down to kind of help separate everything out and do I have any other boxes I think I do I think I do um, yeah I have that box which can serve as a three spot checklist and will work just fine for me and we'll put that right in between these lines here and then we're golden all right i used up a lot and i'm excited i still don't know what like i created this page i don't know what i'm going to use it for I still haven't figured that one out. I've seen some really great ways of people using this. So if you need ideas, let me know and I can share those with you. But as for me, like for what I do and stuff, I don't know. All right. So there we go. Ooh, I love it. 
All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. And until next time, you guys, have a good one. Take care, stay safe, all that fun jazz, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.